In this one, we will learn how to integrate a Rive animation with State Machine in Flutterflow. Now there is a Rive animation widget in the built-in Flutterflow widgets, which you can use to display a Rive animation either from a network URL or from the uploaded assets and configure properties on the same. That is choose a specific artboard, animations, and so on. But if you want to display a state machine on the Rive animation, you don't have the option to do so here. And that's what we are going to do in this video. That is using custom code and custom widgets, we are going to go ahead and display a Rive animation with a specific state machine. Now it's all right if you are a non-programmer, you don't have to understand the code, but you just need to take the code, follow the steps in this video, and you will have the same result. So let's go ahead and perform the same. So first of all, we'll go ahead and move over to the custom code tab, and then we'll go ahead and add in our custom widget. To do that, click on the add button and select widget. I will go ahead and add in a new custom widget and open its file in the editor. That is this right here, where we can add the code for the same. Now let's give our custom widget a name. And in this case, let's give it a name like custom drive animation. Now that's done. We can go ahead and assign it some parameters if our custom widget takes in any. So let's say we'll go ahead and use this custom drive animation to display a drive animation with state machine. And to do that, we need a minimum of two properties or parameters. That will be the URL of the drive animation and the name of the state machine, which we will play on the same. So let's go ahead and receive those as parameters. To add a parameter, we can click on the add parameters button and give our parameter a name and type. So the first one will be URL and its type will be string. So the default one is fine. Now we don't want the URL to be null or not given because if that's the case, then we won't be able to display the Rive animation. So we want this URL to be non-null. And I'll go ahead and uncheck nullable on the same. Similarly, we can add another parameter that will be for the state machine name. So add another parameter, its name will be state machine and its type will be string as well and non-null. So we have the parameters set up. Now we can generate the boilerplate code and add it to the editor. To do that, we can click on this button right here, that is view boilerplate code. And you can see the code right here. Now, no need to worry about the same right now. Just go ahead and copy it to the editor. Now, as I mentioned before, you don't need to worry about the code at all. If you're a non-programmer, just get the same and follow the steps. That is, we have a stateful widget, which has two parts. First, that is the bottom one, which handles the widget code. That is the actual widget, what to display, how to display, and so on. And the top one, receives the arguments or the parameters which we have defined here as well and also handles the state of the bottom widget. So this makes up as a stateful widget and that's what we use for custom widgets in Flutterflow. In this case, we are getting these options or parameters that is width and height. Now you can see we have a question mark in front of their type, which means they can be null. So a width and height can be given by the user or not as well. And then we have our custom parameters that we have added. That is the URL and the state machine. Now using the same, we have to display a Rive animation, which will have a state machine played on the same specified by the user. Now to display a Rive animation in Flutter, we require the Rive package or the Rive dependency. And to do that, we can add it from the pubspec dependencies section. So click on the add dependency button and give it the name of the dependency which we wish to add. In this case, it will be Rive. 
Now, if you have a specific version, you can go ahead and provide that here as well by visiting over the pub.dev or simply provide the name of the package or dependency as well like this and it will just fetch the latest version of the same and in this case it's all right now let's go ahead and import this rife package inside this specific file or our custom widget to do that we will use the import statement import the package that is declare its destination which would be package from rive rive.dart and in the line with a semicolon now that's done we have the setup almost done we can move on to the final implementation of the rive code so first of all let's go ahead and use a sized box to actually use the sizes provided by the user that is the width and the height so i can use a sized box inside its parentheses configure the same that is using its width and height property so i can go ahead and type out the name of the property use a colon and provide it the value now in this case i want to use the width that's provided up here and to access that we have a special way that is we can use widget like this inside this state widget and use a dot to access the properties that is provided up here and you can see we have the height the width and the custom properties as well that is the url and the state machine in this case we want the width now if i want to add another property i can simply use a comma like this as it was before and move on to a new line and provide height like this and similarly access height from the parent widget now that we have the sizes dialed down we can go ahead and use arrive animation widget coming from the rive package so it will be the child or inside our sized box so that we constrain those sizes on the same and use the rive animation widget of type network that is use the network named constructor and provide it the url now in this case the url is also coming from the parent so i can use widget dot url like this and that's basically it to display a rive animation with a custom size now we want to have a custom state machine played on the same as well that is this provided name to do that we can use the state machines property on the rive animation like this now state machines takes in a list of state machine names and in this case we are only passing one so we can use a list like this and provide our state machine name like this now if you want to provide multiple ones to the rive animation that is multiple state machine names then over in the parameter options you can set this as a list provide multiple names and pass that directly here without the box brackets like this but in this case one is fine now that's set up we have a working rive animation widget with the state machine option and now let's go ahead and test the same as well and to do that i'll go ahead and save the widget and then compile the same as well using this compile option which will go ahead and check the custom widget for errors and so on let it do its thing so now the compilation is complete and we can go ahead and preview the same by clicking on the preview icon now here is our preview of the custom widget which we just created so let's go ahead and provide in the parameters now because the url is invalid that's why we don't see anything so i'll go ahead and provide the same that is the width and the height let's say 300 by 300 and then for the url we will paste in a rive url like this and you can see we get to see our rive animation and next i can provide the name of the state machine as well 
In this case, it will be state hyphen machine. And it has some interactions set up on hovers and clicks, which we won't be able to test in the preview one, but we'll test it later on. So our widget is working. Let's go ahead and now use the same. So I'll go ahead and save the same and then go over to the build section. Let's move the build and drive widget and instead use our one. That is, instead of the build in widgets, we'll go ahead and take a look at the components and the custom widgets tab. And here you can see under custom widgets, we have our custom drive animation, which we just created. Drag and drop that onto the designer. And here we have the same. Now by default, it will use the preview data to preview whatever you have here, unless you give it custom URL and state machine. So I can go ahead and give it a width and height. Let's say 500 by 500 like this. And then I can go ahead and provide it the URL. Now the URL I am taking from is the assets. That is I've gone ahead and in the media tab, I have uploaded this arrive file. And then I have simply clicked on this button to download the asset and get its link from the download page of the browser. So that's a roundabout way to have it hosted in Flutterflow and use its link inside the custom drive animation like this. So I can paste that in and specify the name of the state machine. Now let's go ahead and preview our widget. So let's click on the preview button and let it generate the same. And here we have the device preview. And now if I go ahead and hover over the elements, you can see we have interactions on the elements which are enabled with the state machine. Now you can receive more parameters in the custom drive animation and configure properties of the drive animation widget. That is, let's say you want to decide or use a specific artboard on the same. To do that, you can go ahead and add another parameter as an artboard and receive the same and provide it to the drive animation widget in the code that will be using the artboard property and it's already taking a string of null type. So we can directly provide widget and dot artboard like this. Now we need to add that to the code as well. So we can simply view the boilerplate when we have changed or added parameters, like in this case, and copy the upper part like this, and then place it here. Now we'll be able to specify a custom artboard using the custom drive animation widget as well. So that's how we can display a drive animation with state machine in Flutterflow.